welcome back everybody thank you for watching uh, wife with the knife today I'm going to be making some lemon chicken for you this is a very simple dish anybody can do this and I just want to point out to you the ingredients that we're going to be using a cup of flour an additional one tablespoon of flour two cups of chicken broth a few tablespoons of butter fresh squeezed lemon juice and some rind some salt and some pepper a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a, a few of my fresh spices I actually have been keeping you posted on my channel and this is as big as they've grown I have my dill here I have my basil and I have my fresh parsley which I'm using today and of course the star ingredient is chicken which I've already filleted into thinner pieces so you want to start by seasoning your flour first and all you need to do is you're going to add your garlic you're going to put a little sprinkle or two or three of some salt and a couple of shakes of your pepper of course when you're dealing with any type of uh, poultry meat or fish you want to avoid any kind of cross contamination so i always use several cutting boards so this is the one that has my little chicken on it and I love this one so I have the chicken up here and uh, let's start so you want to take your chicken and you dredge it in your flour which means you lightly pat it both sides and then you've seen me do this before I take it over to the sink and I just pat out any excess flour and I put them here to dry So once your pan is nice and hot, you're going to add about two tablespoons of butter and you're going to add your oil. So you have your oil and your butter nice and hot. You can start searing your chicken now. While your chicken is sautéing, you want to go ahead and start chopping your herbs up. And in the meantime, once your edges are all white, you can go ahead and turn your chicken. You're looking for just a little light sear. So what you're going to do is once you have that light sear, you're going to take them out and you're going to set them aside on a plate. So you have your second batch in, so now it's time to zest your lemon. You grab your lemon, and remember what I've told you before, you kind of roll it. This way when you squeeze it, you can have the most juice out of it. And you just kind of scrape the skin, and you turn it. And that is a best in lemon. We have the second batch done. It's as easy as this, as you can tell. It wouldn't take much. And you're going to put your last batch of chicken in. You never want to overcraft the pan because then it makes the chicken very soggy. We have the last batch of chicken in, so now it's time to slice our lemon. So let's roux it up. What we're going to do is we're going to make a roux for our lemon sauce. And what that is, is you're going to put about a tablespoon or two of butter. And then you're going to add, I want to say about a tablespoon and a half of flour. All right. And then all you need to do is 
you swirl this around and this is the base for actually any kind of sauce. Once your roux starts to bubble like this, this is when you want to add a couple of splashes of lemon juice. Then you're going to go ahead and add your chicken broth, and this is two cups here. And you're going to swirl this around. You want this to all be incorporated. So you're whisking it so you minimize your lumps. Okay, and at this point, you actually can add all of these spices, which is the basil, the parsley, and the lemon zest. Okay, once you don't have any more lumps, you go ahead and you add your pepper, a little bit more, which is salted. So your lemon sauce is all ready. We're going to go ahead and add all the chicken right back to the pan. Once you place your chicken back in, you take your lemon circles. If you notice, I took out all the pits so nobody chokes. And you just add them all on top. So you want to cover this. You're going to reduce your heat. It's on a simmer. And you're going to simmer it for about 20, about 20, 25 minutes. Here you have it guys, my lemon chicken. Now this is what's for dinner in my house. I hope you guys try it and enjoy it. Bon appetito!